uh, would love to understand like uh, if you can give your own example right like as part of your uh, journey as a data scientist sure. like so what like if you can take like specific example the problem that we try to solve um so i'll give my example starting from the start of my career um so i'll talk about 2008 uh, so that's a time when i graduated out of iit very few people in those days knew what ai is what machine learning is and people used to as- associate ai with robotics everyone thought that oh you're working in an ai you make some robot who will do something fancy out there who will do some some uh, weird thing and it, things will happen um but somehow i got interested in the mathematics and the computer science of things which is why i chose the machine learning field and wanted to explore it more and uh, did my masters in machine learning which i won't say is a necessary requirement for anyone to become a data scientist um but it does definitely help if you have done some courses uh, be it on some online platform or be it with even coding ninjas or even if you are doing it through some course in order to learn the basics behind it so when you start your career as a data scientist uh, for me what happened was once i graduated out of uiuc i joined amazon's uh, personalization team personalization as you understand is basically interpreting and understanding what are people doing on amazon's website and app what are people clicking on adding to cart rating reviewing buying and then using all of this data we used to figure out what products do we need to show to these individuals that they are most likely to buy um so amazon owns a bunch of different companies uh so imdb endless sapos shopbob these are some of the subsidiaries owned by amazon um so early on in my career i got to build the recommendations for imdb from scratch that was the first project in the real world out there where i was handling huge amounts of data and trying to interpret and make intelligent solutions out of that particular piece um so to one of the things which i would want to highlight at this stage is when i started my career there was a big difference between what data scientist meant what machine learning engineer meant um so coming from a, a grad school at that point we were more of data scientist in the true sense like we just like the maths behind it we wanted to run um algorithms that would probably take maybe even 6 hours or 8 hours to run and give us the information but it will be highly accurate depending on whatever error function we are trying to minimize um but in real world things like these don't help you want to build a solution which is uh which runs in real time and is super low latency and is able to give a high throughput as in crunch in lot of data in order to give the output fairly quickly so sometimes the super optimal solution which might be there theoretically is not necessarily the one which you will deploy in production on a real system so in the first 6 months of my career that was probably the biggest learning which i got in my life that sometimes you have to get out of the maths and stop over optimizing a problem and figure out that the solution which you are building how do you solve it across all the parameters which you have how do you ensure that it happens in super low latency i can't show you movie recommendations 5 minutes after the website has loaded it needs to come in right at that very moment so it needs to happen within nanoseconds less than 100 milliseconds is the latency which we used to target um so having low latency having high throughput i was doing it for a website which basically used to have the top which was amongst the top 10 highest traffic websites in the world um so there were a whole lot of requests which were coming in if i am taking a lot of time and a lot of resources in order to con- crunch the recommendations for one individual then that system will not work so that was the second thing be high throughput and the third piece was basically ensuring that you're giving in the right solution you have to recommend the right results obviously if you're giving quick results and you're able to handle traffic but you're giving the same recommendations to everyone then you have failed the problem it doesn't solve the problem so it took me some time to understand that okay in industry understanding only the mathematics and knowing only the algorithm is not everything you need to understand how will you scale it how will you be able to do it in real time and what is the right way to do it so those were the three pieces of the puzzle which i think every data scientist the moment he gets out of college will experience and will want to learn for new programming updates and videos subscribe to coding ninjas channel